In the last few weeks, we have witnessed the AI arms race getting hot and hotter. Among the tech giants, we have OpenAI, ChatGPT 4.0, Microsoft Copilot plus PC, and Google also desperately tried to catch up to its rival by announcing Gemini 1.5 Pro. Firebase Data Connect and what received a lot of criticism is Google AI overviews and I must say is another fellow of Google. And if you remember a few months back, they had an issue where you would ask for an image of a Nazi, it would generate them in a completely wrong race. And it was so bad that Google had to pause its AI image generator. Well, with one of their latest AI efforts, they are having just as big of a problem, if not a much bigger problem. They started rolling out AI directly into Google search engine and right after it's released, you can find a bunch of tweets on X showing up the weird response that Google AI overviews gave us when we look anything up on Google. So for example, somebody put the search term cheese not sticking to pizza into Google search and they got this response. You can add about 1 8 cup of non-toxic glue to the sauce to give it more tackiness. Glue on the pizza. Bruh. Google AI overview tried to kill us. And yeah, remember non toxic ladies and gentlemen. So I found that this recommendation was pulled from a comment of an 11 year old Reddit username, Foxsmith. And somebody typed smoking white pregnant. And Google said doctors recommend smoking two to three cigarettes per day during pregnancy. Is broken it's definitely broken and here's my favorite one is it okay to leave a dog in a hot car and google said it's always safe to leave a dog in a hot car okay if you want an actual hot dog you can leave your dog in a hot car and here i found another one how does sandy die in spongebob sandy chicks died by suicide on the 14th of july two days before her body was found the Johannesburg Police Department incident report state that Sandy was well unconscious with cuts on her arms and shoulders and cocaine nearby. An autopsy found that Sandy had cocaine, toxicity, lethal levels of alcohol in her bloodstream and a significant amount of heroin. Oh, poor Sandy. And yeah, another splendid franchise being ruined by Google poor search results. And here's one type in how many rocks shall I eat? And Google said, according to geologists at UC Berkeley, you should eat at least one small rock per day. Just another random response from the internet. And I think the big reason for such weird answer is because Google AI has been citing various articles for their responses. Of course, an article is probably the best place to get the information from unless the articles are written in satire and then taken seriously by an AI that doesn't understand sarcasm. With all the serious need, these AI search fails highlight the need for better accuracy and safety in AI technology. We can laugh, but you know, the misinformation can be very harmful. And thanks for watching and remember if your cheese isn't sticking to your pizza, maybe you shouldn't listen to Google if you don't want to get screwed.